It's a special holiday edition of the Brett Allen Show, a pop culture podcast uh, where we interview your favorite actors and celebrities from film, television, music, comedy, and more. And today, I apologize, my voice is a little scratchy. Uh, as I went from a baritone to a bass over the course of the holidays, uh, spending time in LA with my kid, and now my voice is just about gone. But we are chatting with the amazingly talented uh, Isis King. We had Todd Grinnell on last week from With Love on Amazon Prime. And now we have uh, his super talented co-star, uh, Isis. Welcome to the show. It's great to have you here today. Thank you for having me. Happy holidays. Yes. Happy holidays to you as well. Well, we are talking about With Love. And I think most people would probably know you from this or Top Model which was fantastic as well. We all love that show. But let's talk about this project with love uh, on Amazon Prime, because I tell you, it is probably, and I was telling Todd this the other day in our conversation, I would say probably one of the best holiday projects out there. And oh. I wouldn't, it's just fantastic. I mean, it goes beyond just Christmas and things because it covers a season of holidays and relationships and things like that. But Isis, if you could <clears throat> let us in on that and talk about your character and sort of how this entire uh, project came about for you. Okay. Oh, that's a loaded question. Okay. So I will say I got an audition earlier this year um, for the role for this um, non-binary trans oncologist, which off the back, I'm like, that's something <laughs> you don't really get to hear. So no. when I read the script and saw that Soul was someone who had the family support and the friend support and on the journey with love, I was like, wow, I have to be a part of this project, right? You just don't see scripts like this. And right. I've been yearning for a script to play like a kind, nice character because yes, we have trauma and things happen in our lives and coming out and all of those things, but there's more to our lives than just that. And I've been kind of craving a role like that. So when I saw this, I got the audition. I ended up booking it. And um, so my character, Soul, is the cousin of Jorge Jr. and Lily uh, Diaz, who are the siblings. And it's kind of like their love stories and then their parents' love story, grandparents and me, their cousin, all of our different love stories. Um, and you kind of go through this journey through the different holidays, seeing us and the chaos or the love that we have with our partners, or in one case, without spoiling anything, multiple partners for one of my cousins. <laughs> you kind of, you kind yes. of see us throughout the year and through the holidays, which is the most heightened time of the year for us. You know, yes, it's about holidays, but it also is a timeless show that you can watch whenever. And also the cast is just so diverse and beautiful and kind that I feel like you would definitely find multiple people you can relate to. Yeah, <clears throat> I would say that to be extremely true because when I find myself watching this, I'm like, I find a little bit of myself in some of these characters, but also, go you know, wait a second, I have a family member like this, I have a family member like mm -hmm. that. And <clears throat> it really does transcend all of the ideas I think that we have of holidays and family like that because... It covers so many different things, um, and it's just such a beautiful story from what we've seen, and it's just really so good. And I was mentioning this to your co-star. It doesn't have all of the traditional holiday tropes necessarily that you might see from a project like this, but it's just so beautiful and different. I guess my question for you would be, and I asked Todd the same thing, I'm very interested to hear what you think, Isis, as far as what your hope is for people who watch this, what do you hope that they can walk away from? Um, if you can say, because I know it's different for everybody, but really sort of what the hope is uh, from people uh, that get the, the opportunity to watch this on Amazon Prime Video. <clears throat> yeah, I would say the hope is that you see the universal story of love and family and hope. Yeah. I feel like no matter what your background is, um, that's the universal story that everyone should see. We're in these kind of unprecedented times and it's so much chaos in the world right now. And I feel like that's what everyone really needs to see. Um, and also for me as a trans person, it's important for my community to see us have love. 
that's that's really inspiring and i want to see that that inspires me and uh, uh it was a word i was looking for i just completely lost it but you know it's not uh, what's the word i'm looking for it's not conditional right like, yes unconditional love, love. it's not yeah. like and then it's like no just love <clears throat> we, we deserve to see those those type of things for us too so and on the other on the flip side of that for people to see trans people having that let's make it more normal it shouldn't be a they're trying to push this down no you we're just showing you how we live and what we deserve and how we deserve to be treated and uh, it's a hope that you see that and if you potentially meet someone who's trans hopefully instead of thinking about those negative things you see in media you know, think about something like soul and and how they are just a hard worker who's loved and who have a lot of love to give as well yeah i would say that's definitely a very good synopsis yeah better than i could possibly ever do okay. it just it's fantastic 100 percent. now the big question is are you ready for the holidays are you ready well i mean christmas is pretty well over mm -hmm. we're new year's is just a couple of days away did you have a good holiday? Did you get everything done and that you hoped for? Um, are you ready for the new year? I think everybody is. At least I am for sure. <laughs> I stayed in the house with my puppy. I had plans. And then this kind of thing happened where everybody just start, almost everybody I know started getting COVID um, or half the people I know. So then I, I made a plan to just I canceled my plans and I said, oh, me and one of my girlfriends who live down the street, we're going to just hang out and make breakfast. And then she found out the night before that her friend she was with just tested positive. So then she oh, had no. to kind of quarantine. She found out she didn't have it, but we didn't want to risk it. I have a couple of things coming up in January, so I really can't afford to, to like catch COVID. <laughs> and it seemed to just be like tapping on everybody's shoulder this holiday season. So I will most likely will be in a house again for New Year's. It's, I mean, you know, I'm okay with it. In the past, if, if there were years that I did spend alone, it was pretty depressing, but I'm at this place in my life right now where I, I love this kind of time right now. And I don't wanna have to travel and I have friends whose flights got canceled. I don't want any of that. Like, let's just, let's just, wait till next christmas and see what <laughs> next new year's but other than that i'll be counting down to have a puppy now who is very needy and um he's keeping me really busy so that's my holiday yeah no i understand i'm like i just stay in the house as i mentioned at the top of our conversation we were in la and i mean there was just a lot of people and it was raining which was just really out of the ordinary for that time of year and for that part of california but we had a great time and uh and if people want to stay home um there's plenty to watch on television if they have never seen a uh, top model i highly recommend that because you were on that for two cycles if i understand correctly uh which was a fun show um and i want to talk about that just really briefly here at the end of our conversation because that was huge for you and for just a lot of people who have had the opportunity to be on the show um, can you share, if you're cool, just a little bit about your experience with Top Model and sort of how that helped you in your career and sort of some of the best lessons learned from, from that entire experience? Yeah, well, I would say for sure, I'm one of those people that look at all the lessons I learned from the show, uh, teleprompter work, um, interview skills, um, acting i don't know if i got to the acting challenges but even not watching it on the show like everything there that i've done is stuff that i apply to my real life right now even on all stars when tyra talked about branding like this is your brand and be aware of it like all of these lessons are things that i completely use in my everyday life i had a great experience for the most part um and i'm just so grateful for the opportunity i know like people now look at top model as like pick apart all the negative things but to be honest when i was on the show i got all that negative feedback from all the fans and followers anyway so yeah we're in a different time but if everyone felt like that back then i would be in a i would have not had 14 years of like hustling and struggling like i did after the show and depression if i had all that support back then so 
it's kind of always weird. It's like, I appreciate it, but at the same time, it's kind of bittersweet because 22 year old me back then didn't have that coming out of a shelter, coming off the show, still poor, but all this fame and, and being scared to go out for a while, for a little bit because of the stuff I saw and the threats and everything just by me living my life and living my truth. So I'm just so grateful that I didn't give up. I'm so grateful that that I did take all the lessons and and really, you know, allow the, the rose to blossom through the concrete that I felt at that time because um, I ended up utilizing those things. And maybe it took some time, but, but that just goes to show that if you continue to follow your dreams and kind of carve out a, a way for yourself, you can make anything happen. And yeah, that, that was my experience. You know, I wish I could still be living in one of those houses right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <clears throat> I know. Don't, don't we all? Well, I have to tell you, um, I think you're absolutely amazing. And I think that advice... Uh, is great inspiration. Just, I mean, just advice period for anybody listening and watching this later down the road, uh, that hard work uh, and persistence always wins the day, I think. I mean, talent is obviously a big part of it, clearly. Uh, but um, oh, if you don't have... And not being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, that can work out <clears throat> once in a while for people, but never follow that. that <laughs> I love it don't it don't work out for most people so just don't you know you catch more what do you, you catch more flies of honey is that is that how it goes just be yes. kind just be kind <laughs> well this business is very small i will tell you um and even when it comes to uh booking talent and getting uh amazing people like you on our show uh your publicist is listening and will testify uh, you know, th this is it, as big as this type of industry is. It's also very small and everybody knows everybody. So there you go. That's our, that could be the headline for our episode. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> I love it. Um, fantastic. But uh, be sure to check out With Love on Amazon Prime. Uh, it is streaming. You can see this right now. It's available. Uh, do not miss it. And uh, we have been chatting with the amazingly talented uh, Isis, uh, King Isis, thanks for hanging out today. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too.